streets and drains well laid out streets and side lines equipped with the drains is the most outstanding features of the harappan civilization so this is one of the most outstanding features of the harappan civilization that is the well laid out streets and side lines equipped with the drains and towns are well planned and the street cut each other at right angle okay and the width of the street are in set ratio suppose if there is a small street with uh, some width then the big street will be proportional to that maybe it will be twice of that or thrice of that all those thing so it is set in some ratio according to scholars such town planning was not seen even in the 19th, 19th century london and in paris so such a well organized street and the well structured street which is cutting at right angle which was set in some ratio where there in the harappan civilization even smaller towns and villages had impressive drainage system so in those days itself they had a good drainage system even for the smaller towns and the villages corbelled arch drains have also been found one of them is almost 6 feet deep and which function as a main drain okay taking all the waste water out of that town so the corbelled arch drain was also have also been found and one of them is almost 6 feet deep which function as a main drain taking all the waste water out of the town now crafts and industries although harappa civilization is referred to as a bronze age civilization make a note it is also referred as a bronze age civilization mostly unalloyed copper was used for the artifacts and rarely tin was alloyed in copper to make bronze so make a note although the harappan civilization is referred to as a bronze age civilization but unalloyed copper was used for artifacts and rarely tin was alloyed with copper to make bronze so the bronze is made up of copper and tin which was rarely used usually they use the unalloyed copper so you can expect some sort of question from this area okay then tools and weapons were simple in form and there are many types of tools where there they include flat axes chisels arrowhead spearhead knives saws razor and the fish hooks people made copper and bronze vessel so they made copper and the bronze vessels they also made small plates weights of lead gold and silver jewelry so they made small plates they made the weights of lead gold and silver jewelry they continued to use knife of chert blade also a great skill and expertise is seen in the precious and the semi precious stone beads and the weights so they can we can able to see a great skill and expertise in the precious and the semi precious stone beads and weights and long barrel shaped cornelian beads up to 10 cm are the finest example of the craft craftsmanship so this is one such example the next important point is steatite was used for making variety of objects like seals beads bracelets buttons vessels etc so make a note the material which used was steatite its use in making fans a form of glass is particularly note worthy another important point gold objects occur in the form of bead pendants amulets and the brooches and other small ornament and the harappan gold is light color make a note the harappa gold is light color because uh, there is a high silver content in it so the light color of the harappa gold indicates the high silver content on the basis of alloy it has been suggested that gold may have come from karnataka so on the basis on the alloy it has been suggested that gold may have come from karnataka is it clear mature harappan pottery represent a blend of ceramic tradition of pre harappan culture 
so the araban had a mature pottery okay they had a matured pottery and that represent a blend of ceramic tradition of the pre harappan culture the pottery technology was quite advanced so make a note in harappan civilization the pottery technology was quite advanced most of the pots were made were wheel made and it was beautifully painted in black big storage jars also they produced more than 2500 seals found made of steatite so this already we have discussed steatite isn't it they mostly depict a single animal unicorn bull elephant rhinoceros etc but some also depict trees semi human and human figureness in some cases participating in a ceremony shell working was another <coughs> flavorishing industry make a note shell working was also another flavorishing <coughs> industry artisans settlements close to the sea manufacture the shell ornaments like pendants ring bracelets inlay beads etc is it clear so those who settled near the sea that artisans settled near the sea manufacture the shell ornaments now trade and commerce agricultural produce industrial raw material like copper ore stone semi precious shell etc were trader agricultural produce industrial raw material <coughs> like copper ore stones semi precious shell etc were traded not only the raw material they also traded the finished products copper may have been procured from khetri mines of rajasthan chert blades from rohri hills of sind carnelian beads from gujarat and sind led from south india so they again some places where they might have procured so copper may have been procured from khetri mines of rajasthan chert blades from rohri hills of sin carnelian beads from gujarat and sin and lead from south india then lapis lazuli from kashmir and afghanistan turquoise and jade from the central asia and iran amethyst from maharashtra and agate chalcedony and carnelian from saurashtra the occurrence of mature harappan seal make a note they had a mature harappan seals in mesopotamian civilization so matured harappan seals found in the mesopotamian civilization and some mesopotamian and egypt objects found in harappan civilization what did what it indicates it indicates that harappan had trade trading relation with them is it clear so harappan matured seals found in the mesopotamian civilization and some mesopotamian and egyptian objects found in harappan civilization and evidence of the mesopotamian document also establishes that harappan had trading relationship with them is it clear fine 